Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we'll be starting our model training. So as of now, we have configured our uh, like model uh, configuration file, data configuration file. Even we have configured our uh, folder instruction and everything. So this is the uh, code for this model training. So there is a file called train.py under this yellow v7 folder you will get. So all the training related code they have given. Okay, we don't need to change anything here. But here actually some of the parameters you need to give during um, whenever running you are this. Uh, so whenever you are running this train.py. Okay. So see, uh, you, first of all, you need to mention the batch size. Like I have given 16 okay it depends upon your machine configuration if you have higher ram okay you can increase this batch size okay then you need to give the configuration file so this is the configuration file i had created inside this C cfg okay training yeah i have just copied this path uh, because this uh, this configuration we have like made changes if you remember i changes with uh, like six okay here so this is the path actually you need to give okay just copy the path and paste it here okay that's it now you need to define number of epochs so i will be using 100 epochs just for demonstration purpose okay for this tutorial uh whenever you are training your own model just try with uh, around uh, 3000 epochs okay that will give you good results now i need to give my data configuration file so inside uh, under data okay so i have this custom.yml i will just copy that and i will just paste it here okay that's it okay so this is the data configuration and you need to give the weights okay like your weights so here i i had downloaded my weights like yellow v 7pt okay and i mean under my yellow v7 if you see remember i am under my yellow v7 folder so that's why i'm just passing this yellow v7.pt okay instead of giving the full path okay because uh this tra train.py is under this uh, yellow v v7 folder only okay and device is equal to zero because here i want to use my gpu for the training okay if you don't have gpu so you can uh, mention like instead of zero you can give cpu okay so that will utilize your cpu and if you want to do a multi gpu training suppose you have multi gpu so they have given the code for this so at this uh, device section you need to mention the number of gpu you have like 0 1 2 3 and so on okay so once it is done so we are ready to go okay now i will start training so i'll just click on this training so if everything is fine so you won't be facing any error So see this is my model they it has loaded okay and see it has started the training and if i do refresh here uh, so inside this yellow v7 if i show you there is, there is a folder it would be created called runs okay inside runs it will create under full train and inside experiment it will save all my words information if you see so see uh, it will save all the words here okay inside words folder and these are some uh, like batch images okay it is showing like uh, it has done some augmentation te technique in runtime okay so you can call it it's some mosaic augmentation okay during runtime actually it will apply some augmentation so that our model can learn in a good way okay and it is uh, saving some of the evolution metrics and all okay and inside words you will have your words okay this base.pt will be using every time this base.pt will be updating okay so we'll be using this base.pt for our inferencing purpose okay so now i will be waiting uh, until it gets over okay so now if you see here uh, the logging is very good so you can see uh, each and every logs here so the mean average position and everything okay uh, everything you will print so now i will wait until it gets over and we'll be come back when training is done so guys our training has been completed so 100 epochs completed and this is the like uh, and this is the time it took to train and uh, everything has been saved inside this runs folder if i show you like runs inside train experiment uh, there is a folder called weights okay so see this is like uh, as per the epochs okay it has saved uh, some of the model and uh, we'll be using this base.pt because base.pt is the like our final model okay so uh here guys this was all about this model training so in our next video we'll be doing the evaluation and inference okay on top of our new, uh, new test data so yeah guys thank you so much uh, for watching this video and i will see you next time